Hey everyone, welcome to Cricut Time. If you like this video, subscribe for more project ideas and tutorials on all things Cricut. Hey everyone, if you watch this channel, then you're probably like me and love finding good deals at the craft store. Today we're going to switch it up a bit from the usual Cricut tutorials because I have to share with you what I bought last weekend. I was at Michael's the other day and I saw the infamous mystery boxes. I was intrigued. I've heard about these boxes, but this is the first time I saw them. So I had to buy a couple and see what all of the hype is about. Michaels will do this from time to time with items that sat on the shelf for a while at 90% off. Let's open this one up and see what you can get inside. The first thing in the box is this Valentine's Day mailbox. It is saying it's for Valentine's Day, but you could also use it at Christmas time for letters to Santa as well. Next up is this fun tinsel heart garland for Valentine's Day. This one is a kid's craft kit. It's from Createology and it's a sewing craft kit. This is cute. You can color it and then sew it together to make a little pillow. There is another Createology kit. This one is for a DIY tree skirt for Christmas. Oh, what do we have here? This is a roll of green shimmer paper. I can definitely use this. It is Recollections from the Christmas collection and it's pretty long at 24 inches. Next is a Valentine's sticker book. If you have any kids or if you're a teacher, you can always use these. Ooh, I like these fun little I Love You cookie cutters. You can tell Michaels didn't want to send back any Valentine stuff because there's lots in here. This one is from Christmas and it's a paint your own stocking craft kit by Createology. Next, we have a big set of Christmas cookie cutters. I'll definitely be using this one. And it looks like this set comes with 12 different cookie cutters. For any unicorn lovers, the next thing out of the box is this unicorn card kit. What's this one? Oh, this is a two pack of gift bags, but there is a scratch off section where you can put your own note or design. These are pretty neat. I haven't seen these before. We have another set of two gift bags. That's good. We can always use those. Next is a glass candle holder. This is nice any time of the year and I like the shiny gold color. There are still a few more things in the box. There are a few different loose flowers and stems of foliage. If you're like me, you can always find a spot for things like this to spruce up your projects. I like that they're all in similar colors. Down at the bottom, there's one more cookie cutter for Valentine's Day. Cute. <laughs> they threw in a little teddy bear Pez. I love how you can just find anything in these boxes. And finally, the last things out of the box are some Valentine's candy and these fun sweet tooth fairy sprinkles. I like that even these match the pink and gold theme that this box has had. Well, there you have it. This is everything that came in my mystery box from Michaels. It definitely had a Valentine's theme, but they for sure threw in some extra Christmas stuff that they must have had lying around as well. I have to say, overall, I get it now. I'm very happy with a variety of things that came out of this box, and I will definitely be picking up one of these again. I probably would have bought these cookie cutters just by themselves if I saw them on the shelf. And I actually kind of can't believe that for this same price, I was able to get all the rest of this stuff as well. I think these boxes only come out once every couple of months, but if you see one, it might be worth picking one up. They're certainly fun to open and look through. Well, thanks for watching. And if you're interested in watching one more box, I will be opening the other one in my next video. I hope you liked this video. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe.